Hey there, this is a short video on three ways to create a histogram in QGIS, which is open source desktop GIS software. Um, this video assumes you have some basic familiarity with QGIS, that you know how to load and symbolize data. Um, you can see here that I've got a map Georgia um, showing um, 2020 uh, census data on race and ethnicity. And so what the map that you're seeing here is percent that is classified as Hispanic. Um, at census block level. Um, there's something like 80,000 records that are shown here. And you can see in most of the state it's pretty low, but there are some pockets. We can zoom in here and see the city of Atlanta is right here. And actually, if we turn on OpenStreetMap, if you use the Quick Map Services plugin, you can add in all sorts of base maps. If you turn on OpenStreetMap, you can see there's some high areas right along I-85 here. Um, also, um, pretty large pocket in, um, in and around Gainesville and Hall County, and also up here in Dalton, um, in nor Northwest Georgia. But we can see overall it's pretty low. It's gonna look probably pretty skewed. So how can we create histograms? Well, the most basic way to do that is to go on right click and choose properties and go under the symbology tab. And you'll see one of the tabs in the symbology tab is histogram. So after you've classified your data and made it look pretty however you want to do it, um, you can click on histogram and you'll see there's nothing here, but then you can load values and you'll see the overall distribution here. Now I should note, um, you can see there's a lot of white spot on these maps. Uh, to make this a little bit um, faster, I filtered out any counties with less than 20 people overall. And you can see that's a lot of rural Georgia. But even so, you can see there's a lot of zeros. Um, in these data, a lot of blocks that have um, roughly 23,000 that have um, basically no um, residents that are classified as Hispanic. If I wanted to use this histogram to change my data classification, one of the benefits of doing it this way is I can actually drag and drop these a little bit if I wanted to um, and kind of mess around with the way that it looks. I can show the mean, I can show the standard deviation. Those are all things that might be useful as well. So if you're really trying to understand the distribution of your data set, this is pretty straightforward way to do it. All right, so that's one, one way to do it. Another one is to go under the toolbox, the processing toolbox, and if you don't see this shown here, um, you should go into the processing toolbar and just click on toolbox. And then if you just search for histogram, uh, if I can spell, you'll see vector layer histogram is one of the options. This is a tool that's in um, QGIS natively that can create a histogram, same thing. You can say, I'm gonna take this layer, um, I'm going to look at um, this calculated variable of Hispanic percent. Um, you can say how many classes, what's the, the number of different bins, that is the number of bars that you see on that graph. Um, you're going to save it to a temporary file and click Run. This one's a little confusing because it doesn't show up right away. You'll see it says, HTML output has been generated by this algorithm. Open the results dialog to check it. Well, where's that? Hey, look. Results viewer, it's right down there. So we click close and we click on this little button here and created an HTML or a web page that allows us to see what the histogram looks like. And this is pretty crude, right? Like there's not a lot of bars here. Again, you can see it's pretty skewed. We could try to do this again. Let's just run that one more time and let's up the number of bins. Let's change this to 30, right? We'll run it, same thing. And then here's a new link. Right down here, we'll close this. We'll see if this looks any different. There we go. That looks a little, a little better. Oh, this is actually the population. I did the wrong thing there. Let's try that one more time. Um, I can tell from those numbers. So vector layer histogram. Um, oh, no, that was FID. <laughs> there we go. So be careful. You're checking your attribute every time. We want um, Hispanic percent, 30 bins, and click Run. There we go, and here's your results. And again, you can see it's pretty skewed, right? But this is a little bit more nuanced view than the previous one that we had over here. Um, gives us a little more detail. So that's way number two. The third way is to use a plugin. So the Plotly um, Visualization Library is a D3 JavaScript library. It's used in a lot of platforms. I've used it in R to be able to visualize data. And there's a plugin that was, that's been created for QGIS, an extension. So if I open the plugins here and click um, Plotly, just type in Plotly, you'll see Data Plotly. 
It's been uh, created. It's got quite a few downloads. It's often a good sign. It was last updated in April of 2022, so it's still pretty current. I'm going to go ahead and install that plugin. Close, and you'll see it listed right here. I'm going to just drag it up here so I don't lose my screen real estate. I'll click on this, and you'll see it shows up down here. It's kind of small, so let's adjust the things here so you can see it. And so we're going to choose our same block layer. We want to do a um, histogram, right? So there's several different types of visualizations you can do here. So we're going to do um, histogram, and we want our X field to be that same Hispanic percent. We'll leave everything else here. You can play around with these, and we'll go ahead and create plot. And you'll see it should show up here in just a second. There it is. So here you can see that same plot, and you are actually able to interact with this if you wanted to. It's, there's not a lot you can do with the histogram, but it's kind of interactive. Ooh, yeah, look at that. You can actually identify where, so this is um, being able to identify where these different blocks are, right? So if I click on this one, it'll show me, you can see those yellow areas. It's a little hard to see when the blocks are this small, but those selected areas are the ones that are in this range, right? Between 50 and 70 percent um, classified as Hispanic. So that's really useful as well. It allows for some um, interactivity in the exploratory analysis. So there you go. That's three ways to classify um, data and make a histogram in QGIS.